This is my new show. It's called the Populous Podcast, by the way. Populous. Yeah. That's your last name. My last name is Populous, and it, yeah. it is uh, it means people in Greek. Okay, that's cool. So Are you it's like the, Greek. Uh, I don't know. I haven't done a twenty three as me yet. Interesting. What are you? What do you think? Dude? <laughs> I'm a hundred percent. Today we have Deepak Aaron, a Aaron, yes sir, um, who is a uh, chess master. Yep, national master, yeah. pretty much international master. Yeah, um, and striving for grandmaster. Some would say a savant. Uh, yeah, I could you could say that. Okay, but pop I still your shit. Do. Pop your shit, okay, bro. But I, I'm a smart guy, but yeah. I still do a lot of dumb things. Okay, okay. Like, let me give an example today. I mm-hmm. teach this class at this school, mm-hmm. and they texted me, hey, um, we'll see you Wednesday. And I was like, cool, I'll see you. And I didn't even read. I just assumed it was Tuesday. So I went oh. there. They're like, hey, there's no class today, and I just drove back. Oh, yeah, that's so, that's uh, pretty silly. Do you I, have, I do stuff like that all that the time. Like it's like an absent, like a, like a low-key kind of genius, but you're an absent-minded person? Yeah, no, I, I, I had a, a situation like this the other day. I went into Target, okay. and uh, I was looking for I was I went up to the electronics and I was like, hey, man, I'm looking for one of those plugs that plug into the wall, and then <laughs> it's a cord, and then you can plug something else into that. Okay. And they were like, an extension cord? Yeah. You know, I was like, yeah, 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 an extension cord. <laughs> so I, ha- I have stuff like that, too. It's yeah. like, I'm a little slow some days. We're just fast in some ways and slow in others. There you go. That's how it works. Well, you are one of the best uh, chess players in the state of Georgia. Yeah, so three-time Georgia state champion. The 2000, state champion. So what was the last time? 2019? I did my research. Well, I won the last one. You won 2022? Yeah. So I'm okay. the current state champion. Your current state I lost champion. You got the year belt. in between and then oh. um, got it back. So you won 2000, what years? So 2019, 2022, I think 2018, right? 2018, okay. Okay, it was the, the, um, the last episode of Game of Thrones, the second to last season. Okay, I definitely don't remember. That was the first time I won. Okay, okay. And I remember, like, I. I I won the state championship. Time to see who's sitting on the throne. That was like my like. Quote that was the caption. <laughs> that was the caption on Instagram. Okay, cool. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. So, and how how long have you? Uh, I I guess I, we'll get into a whole bunch of things, but I want to figure out how did you start playing chess? Okay. And and um, yeah, I, I guess how did you get into playing chess? At so, what age? It's kind of similar, I would say, to like Steph Curry. So you know how Del Curry was in the NBA, and then he had his kids. Yeah, I love then, Del Curry. Yeah, I mean Steph one of the greatest shooters. Mm-hmm. I mean, the greatest shooter of all time, I would argue. Mm-hmm. But my grandfather was nine-time Indian champion. Um, he won the, like, literally the, like, you have this, the U.S. championship. He won the Indian championship nine times. Mm. Um, he knew, like, Bobby, he's, he, like, he used to hang out with Bobby Fischer. Which is he used to hang out with Bobby Fischer. Yeah, he was like, That's take crazy. his advice in chess. Everything else, he's crazy. Did he tell you about stuff like that? Like, he, yeah, he, yeah, oh, yeah, wow. which is pretty dope. That is crazy. So, yeah, that being said, like I was ever since I was born, I started playing chess. Mm. I mean, I think the age of four or five is when I really started, um, mm. and I've just been play- playing since. So, like your first toys were like rooks. And I didn't knights. have toys; <laughs> I just had chess pieces. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so when you, I guess when you come from that tutelage, it, yeah. it is. Uh, I mean, they probably start you early. Yeah, I you mean, know, I, like, I think if you see this a lot with a lot of like major sports. Um, like I think boxing, like a lot of those guys start early. Mm-hmm. Soccer, basketball. I mean, chess, mm-hmm. like every, like, I would say world champion was a grandmaster by the age of 12 or 13 mm-hmm. or 14, mm-hmm. which is kind of insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. A lot of the greats. Well, like, Tiger Woods, for example, right? Was, was Michael was Jackson. Their dads females. were really on them mm-hmm. early on. Yeah. So it's like if you have kids, you definitely got to be. And yeah. if you want them to be great, you have to start before they're ready. Yeah. Which is, or I guess you kind of just start them and then see. See ya. I mean, what what is your take on this? Like, like Michael Jackson or Tiger Woods' dads? Mm-hmm. They were super, almost to the psychotic level, mm-hmm. but yeah. they produced the, the m- most the amazing best. talent. Uh, yeah, that's a great question. I I I'm on the side of the psychotic. Yeah, yeah, like I, <laughs> that's what I lean towards. Yeah, too. I lean towards that because I feel like uh, um, I, my dad was kind of like not psychotic, but he was he would push me hard as a young yeah. kid, you know, and. Now I look back in life and I appreciate it. Yeah. Back then I That's was That's like, always the thing. You yeah. look back in life yeah. and you're like, well, thank God. Thank God. All the hard days. That. Yeah. But, but back then I was like, what the? Yeah. Like, what? Why? Dude, and so did you feel like that when you were younger? Yeah. Like, did so you actually, were like, why am I playing chess every single day? <laughs> Ironically, in like in high school, I loved basketball. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't wake up early now, but I used to wake up at 4 a.m., finish my homework, go to the gym, play basketball, work out, run, like in between mm-hmm. lunch, I play basketball. There's one funny story. Um, I think we were in study hall, and um, 
instead of going, I went and played basketball. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> oh wow, you got in trouble. No, no, no. So I went to study hall oh. at the end with like five oh. minutes left, and I'm yeah. drenched in sweat. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, "So where were you?" And I was like, "I was at the library." <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, that's a lie. So. Uh, yeah, th- I mean, there's the risk of almost like yeah. breaking the kid when you mm. go psychotic level. So I think there should be some kind of balance. Um, to at least you should be able to give them the mental capabilities to handle it. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, and do you think? Do you think that you? Well, obviously you benefited from it. Yeah, I know? mean, for sure. Like if you look back, it's like, damn. Yeah, I mean, I, I played basketball when I was really young at like five, and I was, yeah. you know, my dad w- and Jordan was out during the time, oh, man, so it was so like you gotta huge. like. You gotta learn like Jordan. You gotta play like Jordan. Yeah. So I was just out outside playing every day, and uh, I got really w- good. I mean, so so good to the point where I, I killed him in LA Fitness today. Oh, word. Yeah, I set the gym He's on just fire. Gone. His ankles are gone, bro. I You'll never see. I set the gym on fire. They were like daffing me up as I was yeah. walking out. Hey, you, good shooting, man. Good okay, shooting. Word. Yeah, it was it was crazy today. Nice. Some days I had I, like I'm not. I don't play often, but some days I have. You just days on. Just like yeah, it's, it's some like days. The, the Clay Thompson third quarter. Yeah, exactly. You're just like bro, whatever. It's I do, like it's whatever I do in. is gonna go in. Sorry. So today's my day. Yeah, today was my day. Uh, so I had a good day. Dude, that's one of the the best feelings. Like hitting a three, mm-hmm. Call of Duty, sniping someone. Right. That's uh, a good pool feeling. hitting the pocket. Ooh. Archery. Yeah. What's that called? Things. What What is that called? It's just Those, so like, satisfying. The satisfying I don't know if there's feelings. a word for it, but it's just the satisfaction of hitting what you're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, have you? Uh, how do you feel about checkers? <laughs> I don't know. I played it like once or twice. Yeah. And it's like, okay, <laughs> the, okay. The you, only, you only played it once or twice in your life, for real? I think so, yeah. Because no, oh, wow. you kind of like lose interest. But mm-hmm. I know the strategies for them is you keep the back row as much as you can. Mm-hmm. And you put the pieces on the corner because they can't get attacked from the back. Oh. So that's, you pretty much just do those two things. And then someone runs out of moves. And then you just kind of clean the board. Wow. I'm yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't really play chess. I'm... I'm Oh, you know what I like? I mean, checkers. FIFA. FIFA, FIFA yeah. in college was my shit. FIFA the game. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the video yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm nasty the ultimate FIFA. team. I would make my team. Between classes, I'd be playing FIFA. Like, I'd always try to get in a game. Mm-hmm. And then this is kind of the sad thing, though, that happened to FIFA. Like, you know how there's divisions and your goal is to get Division 1? Yeah, yeah. So one day I got Division 1 and I felt nothing. And I was like, damn. I got to the top, and this is how it feels. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how it usually yeah. is. I would assume Drake is probably sad right oh, now. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, he'd be rapping sad. I'm like, yeah, what is like, this bro, man sad about? Like, bro, what are you complaining about? <laughs> you got a billion dollars. Living the dream. So what, at what age did you uh, really realize that you were good at chess? Like, you know, I know you were playing since you were young, but yeah. when was it? It was like, damn, I'm, like, low-key better than everybody that I'm playing in a chess club. Yeah. Because I, I was saying you weren't you were in a chess club, like, middle school, We actually school. didn't have a chess club. Really? So it was very, okay. like, so was independent out. of okay, what, what cool. we were doing. So, yeah, when at what age did you really know you were like, all right, I'm, I'm a little better than everybody? So I'd say there's, like, a couple moments that you have in, like, probably everyone every athlete has in their career. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll start, actually, at the bottom. Like, my first tournament, I lost all my games. Mm. Um, and then you just kind of keep playing. Um, I think when I was eight, I jumped from like a thousand to twelve hundred. I kind of just went off and gained two hundred points. Mm-hmm. That was the first time I was like, "All right, there's something here." Um, and then I took like a lot of like I, I think I shot up from twelve to eighteen hundred really fast. Um, and then I took beating after beating. Like my dad would always put me in the highest section, mm-hmm. and it was just like even my mom was like, "Why are you doing this?" He just keeps losing. And then one day, like I played a tournament and I beat two twenty two hundreds, which. Wow. Like, nowadays, is a big deal. Like, nas- there's national master. Mm-hmm. Back then, there was no national master. Okay. Uh, there's no. There's a national... Who's the national master right there, right now? Well, so the idea with national master is if mm. you are 2200 USCF, mm. then you are national master. You get the title. Mm. And that's okay. kind of like a newer thing. Okay, know? okay, cool. So the, back then, you were just higher rated if you're 2200. Okay, yeah, right, right, right. And I, I beat these two guys, and, like, it, it felt easy, too. Mm. It wasn't just, like, it was a crazy game and stuff. I just beat them, like, easily. That was kind of the next step where I was like, okay, we're on to something here. Mm. And then um, I won the, the high school New York State Championship. Okay. Oh, so you went to high school in New York? In New York. Okay. Upstate New York. Okay. Too excited. Like Albany? Yeah. Actually, yeah, <laughs> Albany. <laughs> okay, cool. So what you say this is high school. Like, yeah, so high school 15. I really started popping off. Okay, cool, cool. Where I was like best in the state. Okay, yeah. I feel the same way about, like, I, I, I think I was telling you this last time, but uh, I played Madden. Oh lot. yeah, you were yeah. really really good. Right? Yeah, I'm really I've I've been like a child phenom in Madden. <laughs> what age did you start at? Jeremy? I started playing Madden maybe when I was like ten, okay. you know, and um, I started doing Madden tournaments. But I f- I feel like how you're good at chess, I'm yeah. like that same. Well, I'm kind of curious because ev- I think every art, whether it's Madden, FIFA, mm-hmm. chess, basketball, they have levels to improvement. Like, how did you 
improve um, in Madden? How do I improve in Madden? That's a good question. Did you I play mean, a lot. Or I would like, actually I mean, practice. I would actually practice. Yeah. Like, like when I turn on Madden, sometimes I'll just practice. I like so. I go like, to the practice mode. Like running plays. And running like plays. Yeah. The right receivers. You know, right it's reads. really it's more so like the buttons because you know a lot of okay. these games have a lot of combinations. I feel like that yeah. they don't really tell you about. Yeah. But like the analog has to be a certain way while and you're you pressing that it. Madden? Yeah, I would do all so that. So when you're the guy, you can like juke and like spin mm, move and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I could do all that. I just run straight. So that's yeah, the difference between yeah, you and me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like to get fancy with it sometimes. Yeah, so you yeah. can break ankles. Huh? Yeah, I can break ankles. Man. Is that one of your favorite? Th- I mean, you like basketball. So yeah, is like, that one of your favorite things? What? Uh, playing break Madden? No, no, no. Oh. Breaking ankles. Breaking ankles in basketball? Or just in Breaking ankles in life? I love breaking ankles anytime I get a chance to. Yeah. Put them on skates. You. Putting anybody on skates is always like I, it's a yeah, good feeling. It's so good. It's a good. It's feeling. like domination. It's like jujitsu. It's like jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. And you've been you've been doing that too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jujitsu is fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I, and how's that been going? Um. I, so actually, I hurt my shoulder in boxing about four weeks ago. Okay. Um. It's I think it's something called a, a pinched nerve. Mm-hmm. So basically, we were like kind of sparring hard, and uh, I guess maybe we went too hard. Like I, this is the first time I like I kind of spar with someone my level or my size. So we literally could hit each other as hard as we could. Oh, wow. um, And I think basically we just went too long and I got tired. And mm-hmm. it was fine that day. Like, nothing's wrong. Wake up the next day, pain in my neck. Mm-hmm. And then Sunday, I remember my fingers were numb. <laughs> oh, wow. So four weeks of kind of just like... Uh, so actually, do you want to hear the secret to working out if you play chess? Yeah. So this is the secret. You Wait, you work out to play so chess? So cardio and like doing cardio, but not feeling it. I, like easy yeah, cardio yeah. easy cardio oh, still okay. cardio oh, okay 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 so just to is, get your mind running no what just to that? be able to do cardio but make it go by fast oh okay so you okay. know how like you, you sit on the bike you're there for like an, an hour or 30 mm-hmm. minutes and you're just like on board mm-hmm. so if you do this you'll start and finish and it'll feel like five minutes wow so i couldn't run because my shoulder hurt so much so i would get in the station bike at the gym and i would play chess Mm. And I would play oh, one minute oh, chess. Oh, I get you, I get you. Yeah, yeah. And one minute chess is literally just like cocaine. It's right, just right, like right. dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. Right, right. So you play 15 games. That that's 30 minutes right there, mm-hmm. and it's just gonna go by so quick because you're just game after game after game after game. Right. Like a lot of chess players, they'll like literally lay in bed and play chess, mm-hmm. and the next thing they know, it's like 4 a.m. Yeah, that's me sometimes. So I mean, I'm not, I'm not probably like most chess players, but I do, I do that, or I'm on the toilet when I play yeah, chess. No, that's yeah, another yeah, op- that's like perfect time to play toilet, chess. Toilet, chess, I get a good five minute, three minute game in. <laughs> you have yeah. your, ever have your girl mad at you? Like, why'd you take so long? Yeah, like, what like, are you doing I was in playing there? chess. <laughs> it is what it what, is. How do you feel about, what do you think is the best time to play chess? Because, you know, I went to chess night the other day and uh, there was this guy there that was like, man, you know, I'm used to playing two hour, three hour chess games. Yeah. And, but you know, the chess night is a 10 minute, uh, situation or five minute blitz, yeah. And I was just like, ah, I never really played a two hour chess game, but okay. I, like, I guess that turn you go to tournaments yeah. and stuff like that. Like, what's what's the what's the most respected time? I guess. So the longer the time con- the time goes, the more high value it's gonna be. Mm. So like six hour games or, or I would say four to four to six hour games are the four to games. six hours. Yeah, it's a long time. That's cra- That's what you do. Yeah, pretty, and two a day too. That's insane. Um, but I mean, you get like rest time, like. I mean, most of the time, like, you're sitting there thinking about, like, what you can eat that day and other stuff, which is yeah. bad. Yeah, you can yeah. be focused the whole time. And that's what, like, the, the, the super high level, like, Magnus, those guys are fully locked in the whole time. Like, For, what, so, like, say somebody, like, what, so somebody moves and then, you know, is not another hour before the next person moves? It could be like that? It can be. I would say And you're longest, saying a person is, like, locked in on that hour? An hour? Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, a lot of that hour is just, like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> right, <laughs> It's right. not, like all right, this, this, and this, it's just like, bro, I don't know what to do in this position. Mm. Um, but yeah, I would say most moves are like between two to 10 minutes and then the just game keeps going. Mm. Um, and they've done something called 30 second increment. Mm-hmm. Like every move you get 30 extra seconds. Mm. So games can go really, really long nowadays. Wow. Okay. I never knew that. Now I'm, I'm, I'm a decent show. Like my, my, uh, is it a ELO rating? Yeah. My, I'm like well, a you're, thousand. I'm, you're USCF or your chess.com. I'm chess.com. Okay, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I think we were joking about this the other day, me yeah. and some friends. Yeah. Chess.com and tournament rating, like, I would say chess.com rating is probably like 400 points higher than your actual real life rating. Damn. Which is like a really common misconception. Everyone's like, yo, I'm like 1500 on chess.com. That really hurts me. Like, dude, like, a car is like 3,300 on chess.com. Deepak, you didn't have to tell me that. <laughs> well, yeah, you didn't have to tell me that. I was cool with knowing that I was like a 1,000 rated player. I will say, like, we have played. Yeah. And you play some very high level openings. 
Thank you. Like you, Thank like, you. Like, I you appreciate play like Fiatetto, Catalan. I'm like, yeah. yo, how does this guy know this kind of stuff? Yeah, that's all I know. So <laughs> that's all. Let yeah. this be known. This guy can play some really high quality right. shows. At the beginning. At the beginning. <laughs> Throughout seeing that, and that's what I wanted to get to is like what would you say for a person? There, there might be some people who see this and never play chess, but always want to get into it. Like, what would you recommend to that person, like, to get into it? Like, what what should a person do to start playing? So I'd say the big things are playing games and mm. doing puzzles. Like in fighting, they always say the better fighter at the lower levels is the one with better cardio because mm-hmm. you can take more punches, you can last longer. And same thing with puzzles. Like, if you can find the finishes, like you're gonna be able to beat your opponents. Um, mm. But I would really say the biggest thing I've taught a lot of people. Right. Um, all kind of levels, all kind of interests. And I would say, like, if you want to get better, do something that you're going to enjoy. Like, if you're going to enjoy being there every time, then mm. you're going to find a way to become better. Like, I enjoy FIFA. I enjoy boxing. Right, right. So I will go home and watch videos on how to get better because I right. want to. Right. Yeah, no, that's 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 a fact. I have a, uh, I mean, a little cousin who, uh, I mean, a nephew, I'm sorry, who who plays basketball. but. Yeah. I know I grew up playing basketball too when at around the same age, but this guy is leads ahead of me yeah. at his age because he has YouTube. Oh, so, such a resource. so yeah, when he wants to like learn, he'll see you know Allen Iverson do a certain crossover or Manu Ginobili doing a Euro step. He can yeah. easily YouTube that and figure yeah. out how to do the moves. Back then, I couldn't do that. Yeah, and now you look at him, and it's like he looks like an NBA player For as sure. a, at a ten year as a ten year old. I mean, obviously not, but you know, just that high level of sk- uh, that level of skill. So. I, I agree with that point that you're saying that where you, you know, you got to find something you really like and then you'll start doing more within that field. It won't feel like work. Yeah, it's it won't feel like, like work. Fun. I'm, right. There's a level of you have to put in time. Like if you play basketball, you're probably going to have to run and work mm-hmm. out. So there are things that you're not going to want to do, but you're still going to do those things because you love what you're doing so much. Yeah. What What are those things for you in chess where like the um, things that you don't want to do, but you kind of have to do it because <laughs> it, it makes you get better. So definitely the, the big lesson from the tournament mm-hmm. is just sitting and doing high level puzzles mm. and high level puzzles are like, if you want to beat someone good, you got to find some pretty much some crazy shit. Mm. And like, you have to be really accurate, really precise, really down to the detail. Mm-hmm. And I like competing. I like playing. I like winning of course. And like, I like having fun, but to find these wins, and I missed some like pretty critical wins in these hard, in these positions, mm. where if I had sat and I think really taken doing puzzles seriously, I could have found those finishes. Oh, okay. So the puzzles really help. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And I, I mean, just studying too. Yeah. Like, don't like what most chess players want to do is they just want to play speed chess all day. Mm. Right. right. Doing the other stuff like studying, doing puzzles, hard puzzles, like puzzles you don't want to do. Yeah. Where you're just like, well, I gotta sit here for ten minutes, figure out all this stuff, and right. Like, Okay, this is the answer. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, because I, I, I've been playing chess uh, since I was like five or six. My dad taught me how to play chess. Mm-hmm. And I think I picked it back up when I got around in my 20s or something. What um, made you pick it back up? Um, I don't know. Like, sometimes I get through these periods in my life where I'm like, oh, I really like that as a kid. Like, yeah, even though I'm an adult, it. yeah, I, it's like I shouldn't leave that alone. I should keep on trying to do the yeah. thing that I like. So it was it – was, more of that and i was like i want to really get kind of good at it yeah but the thing is i haven't been getting good at it <laughs> <laughs> i've been trying hard and it's i think it's because i'm not doing the extra stuff i'm just yeah. playing all the time yeah. you know just playing back-to-back yeah. games and not really studying my games or analyzing yeah. them or doing the puzzles at the same time puzzles do help i have seen when i practice doing puzzles you know i think my puzzles are like 1500 or something on chess.com okay. you know good. but yeah i I, I, st- I start to learn a little bit um, or play better in the games. I would say the puzzles. puzzles are is like very similar to working out, mm-hmm. where you don't do like a hundred in one day, mm-hmm. just thirty minutes a day, and you start seeing yourself build muscle. Mm-hmm. So it's the same kind of thing in like in chess. Oh, you wow. do thirty minutes a day, all of a sudden you're gonna start seeing things that you're like, yo, I didn't see that before. Mm-hmm. Or you're gonna see what your opponent's trying to do, and you're like, oh, I see what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. So now, what do you think about? I hear you ever heard the term when people say, um, you know. You gotta think two steps ahead, and like yeah. chess, chess is like one of those things to help you. Do you do you believe in that? Yeah, that chess helps you. Like, I guess let me ask Are you. you asking, does it apply to life? Yeah, yeah. Like, let me ask you how how in what ways do you feel like chess has applied to normal life? Okay, so I think it can work good and bad. Mm-hmm. Where like when you interact with people, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe this is just me too. I mean, I'm not speaking for all chess players here, right. but you try to understand like why are they coming across this way? Like when, okay. like let's say for example, some random guy is mad at you, and you're like, this actually happened to me at Walmart once, mm. and like some random guy was just like trying to pick a fight, 
And it's like, this guy's probably just having a bad day. Like, his life kind of so is probably not the best. So much I to fight you in Walmart? Dude, it was like back you, when You got to start at Target. Honestly, probably. Um, but it was back when um, COVID was happening. Mm-hmm. And I, like he was just like, oh, this guy needs to wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. When people do that, a lot of times they are not in power or in control of their life. Mm-hmm. And they want to give have that power, and they tell people what to do. Mm-hmm. So I would say that is a case where you can, when you see what's happening, you can react to it in not an emotional way, mm-hmm. and then you're just like, "All right, whatever, man. Like, I'm not trying to do anything." Right. But then, the, uh, kind of the flip side to that is sometimes you think too much, and you're like, "All right, is this guy doing this, or why is this guy doing this?" So you overanalyze a little bit. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. sometimes it's just random. Like random stuff happens, right? Yeah. But if you try to find a reason, you can give yourself a reason. Dang, I, I didn't even think about it. Like, you probably, well, I don't want to say probably, but I could see an issue with overanalyzing a lot of yeah. things. You know, oh, like sure, somebody yeah. thinks this way, and you're like, and then you throw like a girl, a gr- like a girl. Oh, when you throw like girls that. in the picture, I mean, it's, it's like impossible. Girls, like we're both like thinking, overthinking the same. Level. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like at some point you're just like, all right, give up. Yeah, you win. I think that okay. Here's another lesson that I will say. I resign. That goes with this. Just tell the truth. At, at some point. Bro, just tell the truth. It's just everything's easier that way. That's why I be trying to tell everybody. They they don't understand in relationships if you're just honest. What yeah. can what can go wrong? Yeah. If or at least like they know what you're thinking. Right. When it's the the, the ambiguity and the not knowing, the ghosting and stuff, that's the worst. Because mm. like, then you got to fill in the voids, and you don't want to fill in the voids, especially when you're not happy or mm-hmm. in a bad state of mind. Are there some like bad chess chicks? <laughs> I mean, have you, have you, I don't know. I mean, you're at tournaments. Do you ever see like? Okay. A, do you ever say, see at a tournament? You're at a tournament. And you're like, damn. Kind of like. All right. In Serbia. <laughs> in Serbia. So in America. Okay. Like, whatever. In, in America, Serbia, you don't. In America, you don't see any. I would imagine. I mean, I'm sure that there's some. There's some. There's there's some. some. But okay, in Serbia, sorry. like you go through the top three rows of the tournament, and you're like, yo, she's pretty cute. Like she's hot. It's like girl. Girl, girl. Mm. So in Europe, like, it's a different kind of scene, I would say. Or like Russia or something like that. Yeah, Russian. I mean, dude, just everyone in Europe is beautiful. Like, yeah. Every country, like, it's, there were certain countries, like, I thought German girls were super sexy because they just seem really cool. They mm-hmm. have, like, cool tattoos. They have, like, yeah, yeah, German, a cool German. attitude kind of look. Mm-hmm. Um, but honestly, every country, like, just beautiful women everywhere. Wow. Hey, we're stopping this video for a quick second to get you, the viewer, to follow me on Instagram, if you may, take a second and log onto your phone and follow me at Jeremy Pop Jones. It is at Jeremy, J E R E M Y P O P J O N E S. I will appreciate every person and I'll try to follow back some people. Um, leave a comment on my page to let me know that you did. Now back to the show. Do you ever like? Have you ever talked to a girl at a tournament? <laughs> of course, I talk. Yeah, I just I don't know. I don't know. I'm mean, I'm really like, it's like I would like, say like sometimes it can be easier because like they speak chess, you speak chess. Yeah, and then that's you, what I was thinking. And then yeah. you see they play this opening. You're like, okay, I like this opening. Mm. And then you, you can be excited about the same kind of thing. Right. Yeah, it's I would like, be like, oh, you could have went D four right there. Yeah, it's like certain yeah. moves, like or yeah. even like, did you think about it? Yeah. And you yeah. already like. The, She's like, oh, I kind of like you. Yeah. You think or like, let's say you, you win a tournament or you're doing good at a tournament. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you win a tournament. To you and be like, oh, can, I, here's another thing. When you win, life is amazing. Like, yeah, everyone oh, really? likes to be around people when they win. Oh, yeah, of course. Just the energy is, like, really positive. That's, that's everything in life, too. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just like, everything. yeah, basketball. Like, I, I noticed that today, you know, I've been going to the same LA Fitness. And yeah. every time I've been in there, I've been, like, stinking it up to the point where, like, I didn't even want to show face there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but then today I I came back and yeah. did my thing and everybody was like keep shooting you know yeah. good good shot but like when you're missing it's like bro why it's are you awkward. why are you on it our team same thing with losing it's yeah like, no one knows what to say mm-hmm. that sometimes they don't know what to say and they say the wrong thing and it gets worse right <laughs> right <laughs> right like, and yeah. so you so you've had the times that you've won it's like everything is love oh it's great you think uh what's the, what's the uh, best guy in the world Mag- Magnus, Magnus Carlson yeah. Magnus Carlson Carlson yeah yeah is he, do you think uh, does he have a girlfriend. Uh, he did. I heard he likes Russian girls. That's what's oh, so do you think he out? He he likes land. Oh, for sure. Because mm. he's. I, I really think he's. A now I really got to get good at chess. I think he's a funny guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, so he. Uh, oh, I haven't watched any of his videos, but I, I saw that he has like. YouTube I've videos. seen his interviews and stuff. Oh, okay. just his commentating and stuff, and he's always like self-deprecating humor, mm-hmm. but he's obviously like really good. So yeah. Um, you know, like John Jones, the fighter. Yeah, the fighter. The he gives me fighter. a very similar vibe to Magnus Carlson. Oh, okay, yeah, John Jones is kind of like uh, he'll joke around. He's joke. I mean, yeah. they're both kind of like prima donna divas, mm-hmm. but they're both like the best, so you have to respect it. 
and they all also like they have their struggles too which makes mm. them seem human right which right. i also like, really appreciate what what were some of your hardest struggles playing uh playing chess or i guess in a tournament or maybe even learning uh like were you ever at a, a point where you're like damn i can't get over this you yeah know? so actually so my style in chess was mm. always like i'm gonna attack i'm gonna sacrifice all my pieces and try to checkmate you mm. and at some point like that stopped working Mm. Like you would say, like a fighter who like like Mike Ty- Mike Tyson for example, mm. to a level you can knock out everyone. Right, it's right. going to work. But then you start fighting people who are yeah, like who they can, don't just bend, who, they don't just like fall over. Right, right. And okay. I, I was going to say, how many uh, pieces have you sacrificed oh, to to w- for a sneak? Yeah, for a sneaky attack though. I don't know the exact like, number, but I would say like average. Like I would be sacrificing every single game. Wow. Like that's just my style. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Throw things at you. Um, but then at some point it stopped working. So I had to, I'm not going to say like become a completely different person Mm -hmm. and become like a strict positional player. It's more, you got to be able to have the level high enough to not lose to certain people, Mm -hmm. but still bring out your strength. Mm. So it's like Mike Tyson didn't completely stop knocking people out, but he started adding head movement and like good defense. And then you put it all together. Yeah. Mike Tyson was crazy. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually I, I enjoy watching a lot of his interviews too. I mean, his interviews, just him being interviewed oh, yeah. in his podcast. Yeah. His, like, oh yeah. His oh yeah yeah his, uh, the hot boxing podcast. Yeah. I enjoy that. But then, if you have you ever seen like his old school yeah, his interviews, like his like, he's I'm like eat you and yeah, like, like I want to fornicate with you. Like well, okay. Do you like so as a chess player? Mm-hmm. Like, why do you think he was kind of like this? Uh. Uh, why he was speaking that way? Yeah, like what kind of happened? I think I actually read his book okay. one time. So it was a funny thing about Mike Tyson, and not funny, but he he grew up in the hood in uh, uh, the Bronx or Brooklyn. Oh, he's from upstate New York. He's from he's from New York. He's from yeah. New York. I think he's from Brooklyn. Okay. And um, he had a situation where like his people in the in his neighborhood would bet money that he could like at at eleven years old or twelve years old they yeah. would bet money that he could beat grown men. So he they would pay they would bet on Mike Tyson to fight like thirty year olds yeah. and he would win every fight. So it's just like coming from and, you know in, in this book he talked about how he was around a lot of robbers and and you know he was doing a lot of robbing and he yeah. had guns and stuff and it's just like I feel like in a um, oh then he met then he met uh Cosmoto yeah, Casamato Cos, 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 and uh, he says Cas Casamato kind of like trained him yeah. almost like he gave him the discipline. He almost like brainwashed He's him. Almost like a father to him too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Brainwashed yeah brain like that. Like I think he even said that in his book. Like he yeah. got brainwashed in a sense to be like this killer. Yeah, you this know machine this machine. Yeah. yeah, and then and then it it, it uh you know it was laid out in his in his game or in his in his boxing matches. Well, which, so I think mm-hmm. after that, like he became the youngest heavyweight heavyweight world champion mm-hmm. ever mm-hmm. and then cuz passed away yes that happened. And i think basically like he, he just lost, lost his direction lost. Uh, and yeah. then he started doing like partying a lot mm-hmm. i mean he could literally have anything you want yeah he could like, yeah, he had um, a so tiger. one thing that he likes a lot is like conquerors like alexander the great the yeah Bullion i saw that stuff. yeah and ha- have you ever noticed like the children of those people are always like really kind of messed up no i didn't know that i didn't know that so like, like uh, saddam hussein his kids were like the most evil people on earth Oh, okay, okay. They got all the power, but they didn't have to work for it. Okay, and yeah. When you can do whatever you want and you don't have that backbone, that discipline, you kind of get off the rails. And I think that's kind of what happened to him, where like he lost that father figure in his life, mm-hmm. went off, and then he lost it all. And that's why I like him a lot now, because he lost it all, and now he came back, and he's now like almost like a a shaman or like a guru. Yeah, you you can tell his energy when you see him talk. It's like it's kind of peaceful. Yeah, and a lot of people can't bring him back into that world because a lot yeah. of people do because he's one of the. I greatest. mean, dude, also he got used by Don King. Like, yeah, that's so right. much too. Yeah, so he like the people that were close to him actually used him and robbed him. Mm. And when you lose that father figure and you can't trust anyone, like, I mean, I'm sure like. Life's got to be very difficult. It's almost right. like lonely. Yeah. Even yeah, though he sure. can have whatever he wants. Now let me. Do you like think? <laughs> do you think uh, being as good as you are in chess that there has been point, uh, points where you've been lonely? Like, do you think like to get as good as you are, you've had to be lonely at some point? Yeah, I mean, you definitely have to sacrifice. The, I mean, sometimes it almost feels like a curse. Yeah. Where it's like you're this good, but I want to be like great. Right. Like think about a, a bench player who wants to be Kobe. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what it feels like. Right. And it's like, I can't stop now because I'm this close, but I have to sacrifice all these things because Kobe sacrificed like everything. Mm-hmm. He was so disciplined. Right, right. And it becomes this this question that you have to ask yourself. 
do I want to give up all this to get this? To get that, yeah. And at some point, and it's like that. Is that's it's a dark yeah. question because sometimes I mean, like I have this code. This is a Kobe book right here, yeah. and if you read into his book, there are certain things that he talks about in basketball that you wouldn't even think to do. Yeah, do or like like he'll say he has a page in every. Uh, I mean, he has a. Um, in this book, he has a page that talks about every player and how he oh, would defend him. down and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. he'll be like, "Oh, Russell Westbrook likes to charge me, so yeah. I'll like left, I'll st- put my right foot, plant my right foot, yeah. and then watch his left hip and see yeah, how he yeah, moves yeah, with yeah, his yeah. right hand." And it's like, it's so technical, but it's like to be that technical, you have to. It takes a lot of time. It takes time. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, and, and people aren't going to be with you on that uh, yeah. in that time. So I even think about like how I got to where I'm at. It's like I had to be. Like isolated almost yeah, sacrifice for things. yeah the sacrifice things and um I it's interesting I read this book um uh, what's the book with Nietzsche uh, Nietzsche 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 has a okay. book and he talks about the Ubermensch which is German for Superman okay oh, okay yeah yeah and he and he talks about to be a Ubermensch you have to you have to be lonely you have yeah. to be isolated to be great at anything yeah. so um I'll tell you one of the catch twenty twos at chess tournaments mm-hmm. is you make a bunch of friends right. But you only get to see them pretty much at chess tournaments. Mm. So then you have to choose: Do I like go out and drink and have a good time and like party with my friends? The losers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did they did they already lose or like? No, no, no. Because oh, okay. you're playing the whole weekend. Oh, okay, sometimes okay, it's okay. Never knockout. Okay. Oh, I mean, okay. Oh, I'm like, bro, playing. I'm not hanging with it's them, bro. Worse. Sometimes yeah. they're not playing and they just came to party. And yeah, I'm like, Yo, yeah. I have to wake up tomorrow. Right, right, right. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. when it becomes like: Do I say no to my friends mm-hmm. and try to be great, or do I kind of just try to make the both best of both worlds? That never works. Mm, like yeah, a, a house divided cannot stand. Exactly. And, so uh, you you just gotta say no, bro. Right. But but <laughs> sometimes you don't want to say no. You want to yeah. have fun. It's yeah. tough. It is tough to be great. And here's the worst part. Sometimes you say yes and you still get good results. And yeah. Now you have this and that curse of like, well, I did it the last time, so I can mm, do it this time. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so this is something John Jones would actually do. Mm-hmm. He would um, at least maybe earlier on in his career, the week before his big fight, he would party every week, like every day. Mm-hmm. Or like the weekend, the weekend of. That way, if he did lose, he could go. Well, I partied, and next time I won't. Mm. And like that's also kind of a, an excuse you build in your head, or like a, a backbone that you can have. Mm. So it, I mean, all these little mind traps, um, that you have to be like uh, wary of. Mm, I see that. Who's the hardest person you played? The hardest person. I mean, so I played Naraditsky, who was really good. Okay. Um, I want I, you looking at camera and say, "Fuck Nadishki." <laughs> <That's laughs> <it. laughs> no, I'm just saying we, like, we love him. I <laughs> we love him. Lose that game. Um, What's yeah. it? What? What? What uh, country is he from? I is mean, it? he's an American now. Oh, but, but Naraditsky can't be an American name. Yeah, that's not an American name. That's why it was kind of confusing yeah. me. I mean, oh, he, they, he, like he goes by Danya, so that has to be Russian, right? I guess. I think so. Where you stand with Palestine? <laughs> it's dude. I don't know. <laughs> I'm that stuff is too complicated. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things. Like, let the exp- like. Okay, here's one thing I have to ask. Like, why do n- random people with no knowledge have to have an opinion on things? Yeah, I know, man. It's same thing like the president presidential election. Mm. Like, there's no like. Oh, yeah, this is definitely the guy. Like, both choices yeah. are tough. Like, why does pe- why do people pretend like obviously it's this person? Yeah, that that is weird to me, and and it, and it's almost like with so I think social media has played a big part into that because it almost forces you to pick a side especially if you have a big name because like, i saw lebron james come out and say i stand with this i forgot who what side he was on he basically chose his side but yeah he chose the side Does he have a reason for it no he just i mean he, he just you know it. it was a pr thing and there was multiple paragraphs about whatever you know but it's like lebron james you don't even have to talk yeah. about this like Especially if you don't know it, like I would think it would be more authentic if he made he a video a, or something and like actually talked about it. Yeah. But just put out a statement with the flag and the symbol on there. It's just like that's what everybody's doing. It's just remember how we talked about like telling truth is the best thing. Mm-hmm. If he just said like, hey, like, I mean, first of all, he doesn't have to say anything. He doesn't have to say anything. But if he said like, I don't know, what's I don't really really know what's going, going on here. Like, everyone would respect you more. Why don't people do that? I don't understand. People like really get wrapped up in like like there's different different types of addictions. And for some people, it is social media, which I think mm-hmm. is very strange. Like, I don't know if I've ever commented <laughs> on any post, unless it was like, congratulations. Right, yeah. That's like the only that's, thing I'll say. That's like, a good yo, point. That's my boy I've never, I've never hated on Instagram. Yeah. Like, there are some trolls that, yeah. like, just, I even see them on Georgia followers sometimes. I mean, like, yeah. I yeah. mean, dude, you're the expert. You yeah. probably get all these people all the time. Yeah, I don't read anything. So uh, you never read the comments? No. I mean, it's very rare. Like, I found myself doing that one day when I was high. Yeah. 
And I always like to read them just to laugh, to see like yeah, what yeah. are the funniest comments. I'll even go through yours. Yeah. And be like, oh, what's the funny shit happening here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, <laughs> people be talking shit sometimes, <laughs> but I, I never pay attention to it because I think you can't. Like, it's too much to keep up with, and then. I feel like if you start listening to some of that, because Rondell, you know, my yeah. boy Rondell, he's like the complete opposite. Where he reads he, everything. He reads everything. And he, and he responds everything. to everything. Yo, that's dang. It's yeah. like you only have so much bandwidth. And if you're spending it all there, like, you're, you do, do something else. Go yeah. work out, run. Like, right. These people, and a lot of the times when people are talking shit and then you respond, then they're happy because they got a rise out of yeah, you. Yeah, they're like, they're, they're like, oh man, we didn't really mean anything by it. Basically, they it's had like, nothing bro. going on in their life, or they exactly. have a sad life, and they're trying to take it out on you. Yeah, and now you complied, and now you're playing their game. Have you had any chess haters, like some some beef, chess? Yeah, beef? yeah, yeah, for sure. For real, and you I, had to slap some people. <laughs> never hit anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you but never, you never hit. Have you ever been in a fight? Never a street. I mean, I boxed and like yeah, far, yeah, but okay. I never been in a street fight. You don't need to be, man. Have you? Yeah, I've been in a few. I mean, st- not a street fight, like, random, but, like, yeah. my boys. How was you it? Know. Oh, just, like, a six-on-six six battle? No, 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 no. More <laughs> so, like, oh, like, me and my boys are talking shit. Like, we're talking shit with each other. Yeah. You know, and he, like, I swing on them or he swing on me. Really? Usually, I never started a fight, though. Okay. Does it ever get, like, dangerous? Where it's, like, you can really get injured. Yeah. Because I'm always scared of getting injured. Like, I'll fight fight to death, I guess, if I have to. But Yeah, I would, too. You really got to risk something, like... You gotta like slap my girl or like if you do call something. me stupid, like okay, whatever. I yeah, know yeah. you're stupid. Your opinion doesn't matter to me. Yeah, yeah. Like I know I'm not stupid. You know. Yeah, the, the I mean people like random people cannot get me like yeah. in a crazy state, but yeah. people who are close to me, I like you know the yeah, people close no, to you know, know the saying. know the buttons to press with you sometimes. So. So for me, if they cross that line, they just don't exist. <laughs> on the face even of the even if it's family, cousins, family, like whatever. Normally I'll give it time and then yeah. just leave, like, keep them at a, at a distance. But if it gets to the level, I just like literally like you stop existing in my universe, in my world. That's just my solution. I have a crazy story that uh, I guess I could tell is kind of like a, a, it's not involving me. It's actually involving my older brother. But okay. we used to uh, I used to be so good at Madden and 2K and all that. that yeah. Back when I was in high school, we would go to different houses. OK. And like meet people from other towns. Yeah. And, and gamble. Okay. Yeah. And, ga- and gamble on the really? games. Right. Did it the gamble? Like how much did you guys do? Yeah, back then it was it might be like 200 500 for a game but back then it was like it was serious and then you yeah. you'll meet a camp from Alabama that would come in really? and we'll play at this That's house and they'd be like bro we got to play in these settings we got to play oh this way got so there was this one guy who uh who came in and he must have known a cheat, cheat code okay so we we start well he starts playing them and he's using this cheat code to where we're playing Madden or all his players all my brother's players would just be fatigued. Okay. Just so like he'll call a hike and then nobody would play defense. <laughs> I mean, so, <laughs> but it's pretty obvious at that point, was, right? Right, right. So, yeah. so after the game, the dude was like, "Pay up." Okay. And my brother paid up, and he was like, "Nah, he didn't that say was anything." He no, he was like, "That was some cheating shit." Okay. Right. So then it, it turned into some other thing that went outside, yeah. and then you know I'm there the whole time with my bro, and uh, I never even told him about this, but. I never like we never even talked about this story, but okay. we go outside and he like nah fuck that like and they start going back and forth. Yeah. The other dude pulls out a knife. Damn, dude, I don't want to be in a knife fight. Other dude pulls out a knife, and I'm the little bro. I'm little bro, yeah. so like I'm looking like damn, this is like I gotta help my brother fight. Okay. You know, but the dude has a knife. Luckily, it got defused. Yeah. You know, so like nothing had to happen, but stuff like that, you know. Uh, yeah, I've, I've yeah, been like, in situations just, like you that. You ask yourself, is it worth it, right? Yeah, it's like, it's not worth it. And you look at that, and it's like, that's so crazy that I was involved yeah. in I something mean, like that. But There's always the chance, like, you get injured or you die for something stupid. Like, okay, so one thing that really I think is sad is, like, this happens to a lot of rappers. Like, one of my favorite groups when I was a kid at college is the Migos. Mm-hmm. And, like, take off, rest in peace, like, rest passed away peace. because of some silly feud over some money. I mean, dude, the it's the game. Migos. They got plenty of money. Like, yeah. they can pay up if they want to, like. It's not worth killing someone for something so stupid. Yeah, and then and then not only that, somebody else ruins their life too by going. Yeah, now to jail. they have to go to jail forever. And then their family suffers from it. it it's just really, it's so, really bad. So it, it's best to, if you're ever in any kind of conflict like that, it's always best to defuse yeah, it. I, I feel agree. like you know, or that's what I've learned. Away. Just walk away. Just be the bigger guy. Yeah. Well, there are sometimes you don't want to, you know, be a bitch though. Yeah. That's what makes it. I tough. never that that. As a man too, like know, it's the pride. It's I the pride know. and the ego that gets you. And it's like that's hard to like overlook sometimes. Do you think this is why as guys it's always really fun watching girls fight? 
because no one's gonna die. They use yeah. a lot of words. <laughs> yeah. They're never hitting each other that hard. And yeah, stuff. it's just like okay, well, it's well, like all right, like, it's like yeah, let's, let's watch they this. They put on a good show. <laughs> they put on a good show. <laughs> Damn <laughs> good show. <laughs> I wanted to talk about uh, about your future goals in the chess world okay. and um, what exactly like you're, you're looking to accomplish. Here in the next few uh, years. So definitely, I want to make Grandmaster. That yeah. Is so like, what does that take to like? What do you have to do? So you for the to, people who don't know, like, what Grandmaster is, I guess explain that, and then what it takes to to be a Grandmaster. So basically, if you're Grandmaster, it's the highest level of chess. It's like a black belt in jujitsu. Mm -hmm. I would say it's the equivalent. Um, you have to get three norms. So you can't just get the rating. So you have to get 2,500 fide to get the rating, and then you need to get three norms. So mm -hmm. that means you need to basically get three stripes, or basically do good enough in three tournaments where you performed at such a high level that they give you one of these norms. It's like Thanos, Thanos hand. Yeah, yeah, three yeah, of the like the stones. The stones, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you get it. You're there for life. Free entry for the rest of your life. People pay you just to be there and stuff. Free entry to any chess you tournament. You never have to pay entry again, mm. which is pretty dope. Okay. Um, Where are you on that? That uh, on that so journey? I'm like the step below. I'm international mm. master, so okay. I got all the norms for that. Um, so basically, it's just get the rating up and be very consistent, mm -hmm. like. You know how I said I, I'm smart, but I do a lot of dumb things. I can't do any more dumb things. Right, like, right, right. That's what you got to take away. <laughs> right. And then doing the puzzles and being very precise and accurate uh, and meticulous to uh, perform at the highest level. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I want to do. Um, definitely streaming and YouTube. I want to put out a lot of content. So I actually like since I've been teaching for so long, mm -hmm. like I'm very good at getting people from like zero to like a very like almost blue belt level, a thousand or fourteen hundred ELO. Okay. Um, and I want to basically kind of build that for Georgia. I mean, this mm -hmm. is my state at this point. I've been mm -hmm. here forever. Um, from New literally York, have Atlanta. You're from New York, man. No, nah, shut <laughs> down, <joking. laughs> Wow, well, I, I literally have Atlanta tattooed. So, for real? Yeah. Where is that? On my shoulder. Okay, cool. So yeah. after winning the state championship for the third time, I was like, all right, I'm Atlanta. That's real. Um. Yeah, I'm like, that's our third dap up. <laughs> we made it three. We made it at three, bro. <laughs> But no, nah, that's dope, man. Uh, yeah. So what, your YouTube, you were talking about your YouTube. Yeah, so uh. YouTube, putting a lot of content out there. So also, I'm organizing tournaments, so I'm okay. trying to transition to an organizer, something that me and Seth are kind of like working mm -hmm. together on and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so me, Carter, like we run a business. We have tournaments once a month. Okay. We're trying to grow pretty much a chess center and make uh, Atlanta like a big hub. Mm -hmm. And something that we have as an advantage over a lot of other organizations is we actually play chess. Mm. We're actually high-level chess players. We understand what these guys want mm. um, and what chess players are looking for, and we can help provide that. Nice. I like that. What 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 was like a big chess city? Like, is it Vegas or? I mean, I say New York. New, New York, York is New York, huge. Yeah. Um, Texas like is pretty parks. big. Texas. Um, they, they also yeah. have the Marshall Chess Club. So I would say anywhere where there's a lot of tournaments mm -hmm. and a lot of people that play, you're going to get a big center. Okay. So we have, I mean, okay, so Charlotte, honestly, right now is one of the biggest. Charlotte? Yeah, and I was wow. going to say, Atlanta is just way better than Charlotte. Yeah, well, Atlanta like, is better I than Charlotte. I don't mean to call them out or anything, yeah. but, like, Charlotte sucks. Cooler, we got more people. We got swag. We got, we got community. <laughs> yeah. So we want to get to that level, which For I sure. think we can do. Okay. All right. So what? And what's your YouTube? And then also, if they want to get lessons from you, like, where, where can they get that? So um, YouTube is D-A-A-R-O-N Chess. Mm -hmm. um, Twitch is the same thing. Um, Instagram, D A A R O N dot three. Mm. Um, so definitely message me there. Um, Wolfchess.org. That okay. has all the tournaments. It has my information on it. So you can check that out for all the information. Okay. Well, I appreciate you coming through, man. Deepak, you know you're my guy. Dude. I got I to gotta get some lessons from you, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs>